Okay, so option three is the multifocal lens. So options three and four are gonna be the lenses now that I'll talk about for folks that really want to um, see a lot more without glasses, like a sort of broaden their range, if you will. And so the multifocal lens is option three and it does do that. Uh, and this is the lens that I recommend for the patient who really wants to get as much vision as they can get without glasses and they can't tolerate something like monovision. Um, what the uh, multifocal lens implant does is that it effectively um, you know, splits the light to give you multiple focus points um, as opposed to the standard lens and the toric lens. If you recall, I call those monofocal lenses. So they, those lenses focus all the light coming in your eye to one focus point and the goal is to get that exactly onto the back of your eye on the retina. Whereas the multifocal lens gives you multiple focus lens, uh, excuse me, focus points. So, you know, the, the um, idea is, is that you'll have a focus point for distance, one for mid-range, and one for up close. And so the, the goal here is to really try to maximize your vision without glasses. Now, a, a couple caveats with the multifocal lens. One, there's many multifocal lenses out there. Some are a little bit better for distance, some are a little bit better for near. If you're curious as to which one um, you know, I'm using, just ask me in the clinic and I'll tell you. For the sake of this video, I won't mention it because there's always new lens implants coming out, especially in this category. So if a, a newer and better one came out, well, of course, I'm gonna adopt that here. Uh, you know, our practice it takes pride in always trying to have the sort of the latest and the greatest. So if something changes, we're gonna use it. But, uh, but they're, they're all the lenses that are similar to what they're trying to achieve. Um, and so there are a couple caveats to the multifocal lens that I think is important to, to know before selecting it. Um, and so let's go through those. First, as I mentioned, the multifocal lens gives you distance, mid-range, and near. Well, what I tell folks is that uh, the near is good, but it's not perfect, right? If the font ever got small enough, like on a medicine bottle, you still may need a pair of cheaters to see font that small with the multifocal lens. Additionally, if you're in a restaurant, like a dark restaurant, well, you might need glasses for that as well. Like the lens just performs better when there's more uh, light. And so what I tell my patients is that situationally, you may need a pair of cheaters, but the vast majority of your tasks, you'll likely be able to see without glasses. And so the example I'll give is like, you'll wake up, you'll see your alarm clock, you'll head in the kitchen, make yourself breakfast, uh, look at your iPad, get in the car, drive, go to the grocery store. All these tasks I, I would expect you to be able to do without glasses. Um, and that's a broad, broad range, but keep in mind there is a trade-off. And so, the tech, same technology that gives you this nice broad range in vision can actually impact the quality of your vision. And it does it in a couple of ways. Um, the most commonly noticed way is at night. Uh, when you're driving, instead of just seeing a car headlight, you could end up seeing a car headlight with these halos around them, or even these like sort of, I don't know, almost like spiderweb type things coming off the light. Um, not everyone experiences this uh, in the same way, right? Um, but I can't do any test to predict how big they would be if you are one of the unlikely ones to develop it um, or how bothered you would be by it. And so I just actually warn everyone, to me, this is physics and optics. You know, the, the lens is doing what it's doing to give you those multiple focus points and that's the reason you're getting those glitter halo profiles. So if you're thinking about this lens, understand that I expect everybody to actually get that profile. Um, the studies would report a lower amount of people but that has never been my experience. Every lens comes out with their study saying they have a reduction in glitter halo profile, but when I use the lens, if I really drill down, every patient effectively gets it. A few say they don't see it, but a lot of them do. And so if you're considering this lens, you have to accept that as a part of it. And the reason I want you to do that is that, to me, the person who's gonna be really happy with this lens is the person who's okay with that type of profile at night. Some people don't drive very much at night and they're willing to have a little bit of discomfort at night with their vision, so long as that meant that they had this broad range of vision during the day. Um, but that's a very individual thing. And so if you're thinking, man, I'm not sure I would like to have that profile when I'm driving at night, then I actually would discourage you from choosing this lens because there's a chance you're gonna get this and there's nothing we can really do about it if you do um, in terms of other treatments. Some people have tried drops or you know blue blocking glasses, and maybe they'll help to a small degree, but it's not gonna eliminate the problem altogether. So it'd be something you'd have to just adapt to. And so um, I would say in my particular practice, I'm not super aggressive with the multifocal lens because I I just, uh, I sort of hammered this point home, I think. 
Um, and then in the clinic, I'll probably show you a picture too, because it's lens just to make sure you understand kind of what I'm trying to describe here. But for the right person, it's a phenomenal lens. Um, the only other thing I'll say is that if you have imperfections about your eyes, let's say you've got mild macular degeneration, or like uh, sometimes I use the term, you have a wrinkle on your retina, or, or really bad dry eyes. Well, those conditions can also interfere with the optical quality of your vision. And so if you've got those conditions, um, I personally do not recommend the multifocal lens in those conditions because it ends up sometimes being a recipe for really poor vision and these lenses aren't cheap. And so I don't want you picking something that you're gonna be ultimately unhappy with. Um, if uh, you really did want range and either the glitter halo profile scared you off or uh, I tell you you're not a good candidate for it, then you'd wanna listen uh, and consider the option for the live adjustable lens. But if I didn't scare you off for one and uh, uh, and I end up telling you your eyes otherwise healthy, this can be a great lens to get a nice broad range of vision um, and really, really be minimally reliant on glasses.